Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be reviewing the Fifine K638A. Now, this is actually one of Fifine's newly released microphones, so I'll make sure to link it down below the video. Thank you to Fifine so much for sending me this product for the review. This is just going to be another quick review from your average guy just reviewing microphones. I'm not an audiophile, I'm not a professional, I'm also not an idiot. Um, you know, somewhere in between, I suppose. But as far as the first thing you get inside the box, you will find a gigantic K638A microphone. For me, this is a pretty big microphone. This basically looks like, from just a first impression, a much larger version of the K669B microphone. Inside of there, you'll find your cable. You will also find, you know, your mini tripod. Or for this one in particular, actually, you have a gigantic tripod compared to any other tripod, like on the K669. This one is much larger. It has a fully metal build. It also has removable rubber feet, if you're into that. So, yeah. So obviously, from a first impression, this microphone is massive. It's made out of metal. It's a very nice, high-quality metal finish, matte black. We will obviously tell if these parts and components are are actually more than just a hunk of metal and they actually work so if you're wondering I am going to be recording it with the Fifine microphone this whole time as you can clearly see in front of me as far as features go this microphone is packed compared to any other condenser I've used before and I'm really starting to become a fan of it it's got a nice gain knob this one is made of plastic but it's still you know is decently high quality it's got a mute button as well as a green light above that to let you know if you are muted or not. On the back side, you also have a headphone jack, which is nice to have. From what I've tested, you can actually use this headphone jack for live monitoring, of course, which it does by default, but also for computer audio if you set the microphone to your audio source. Back to the features, you also get a nice massive pop filter to go along and make your microphone look so much more professional than any microphone you've, you've used before, and the pop filter itself is of course much smaller and more low key than, you know, obviously a gigantic circle pop filter, which I honestly don't prefer as much. One other thing I actually forgot to say about this microphone, on the ends of the cables, they are not only metal, which is great to see, but on the plug-in side to your computer, where the USB-A port is, there is actually also a USB Type-C port as well. So if you're like using a MacBook or you're using, you know, your Windows computer, you have the option to either plug in with USB Type-C or Type-A. So basically you have all A, B, and C ports on this microphone, B to plug into the mic, and you have the option between A and C to plug into your computer. It is a you know, plug and play microphone. You just plug it right into the computer and the rest will set itself up hands-free. As far as compatibility goes, as long as you get a pretty standard boom arm that uses a screw type of end that works with tripods like these, you should be fine with putting this microphone on any boom arm really. So as far as the audio tests go, I'm putting the microphone a little bit closer to my face now. This is where we're gonna start doing the audio tests and nothing better than to start with the good old mute button so I'm currently unmuted of course and now I'm going to mute me and now you can probably hear me talking again okay now time for the gain test we're at about 10% gain um, I will say this microphone is uh, gain knob is a little hard to grip but otherwise we're gonna slowly make our way up to about 50% gain now I should be getting pretty loud so I'm gonna start whispering I really hope I don't I'm peaking a lot now I'm really peaking a lot. I don't want to keep going. Okay, I'm at 100% gain. We're roughly at about 40% gain. That's what I've been, you know, recording the most of this video with. Otherwise, that's pretty much the gain and mute knob test. Now, one final thing I always love to do is a plosives test. And um, since this pop filter comes in the bag, I'm not going to test the microphone by itself. Let's test our plosives. Peter Piper tested his plosives on his brand new boom armed microphone, the K669B. That's not even the microphone, but we're plosivizing our pops and seeing how that peaks. To buy or not to buy? That is the opinion we're all asking for, of course, and I will tell you right now that you should most definitely consider buying this microphone. It comes in at $57. It's an amazing microphone. You already know my opinion because I just said it's an amazing microphone. This microphone is actually my main mic that I've used to record this entire video. It's about $20 more than the K669 I've been comparing it to, so if you just want to keep that kind of perspective, you're getting the all type of USB ports, you're getting the headphone jack, you're getting the gain knob, you're getting the mute button, the pop filter and all these great things for about 20 bucks more i totally think it's worth it if you can afford it and otherwise that has pretty much been a review from your just typical average guy my name is ethan i am a tech if you would like to check out some future projects i do consider subscribing for when you hear about more of those there's plenty coming and until then though i will see you my friend in the next one peace